Scientists have just announced an absolutely stunning discovery. A million year old human skull found in China suggests that our species, Homo sapiens, began to emerge at least half a million years earlier than we thought. It also raises the possibility that Homo sapiens first emerged outside of Africa. This is truly mind-blowing news. The discovery, published in the leading scientific journal Science, shocked the research team which included scientists from a university in China and the UK's Natural History Museum. Professor Ji-Yun Ni, who co-led the analysis, said, quote, From the very beginning, when we got the result, we thought it was unbelievable. How could that be so deep into the past? But we tested it again and again to test all the models, use all the methods, and we are now confident about the result. And we're actually very excited. So why is this so groundbreaking? Leading scientists reached this conclusion after reanalysis of a skull known as Yunxian II, discovered in China and previously classified as belonging to a member of the early human species Homo erectus. However, after applying sophisticated reconstruction techniques to the skull, scientists believe that it may instead belong to a group called Homo longi, otherwise known as Dragon Man closely linked to the elusive Denisovans who lived alongside our own ancestors. This repositioning means we now have fossil evidence that the split between modern humans and our closest relatives occurred at least one million years ago, radically revising our understanding of human evolution. Professor Chris Stringer, an anthropologist and research leader in human evolution at the Natural History Museum in London said, quote, this changes a lot of thinking, because it suggests that by one million years ago, our ancestors had already split into distinct groups, pointing to a much earlier and more complex human evolutionary split than previously believed. It more or less doubles the time of origin of Homo sapiens. That's crazy. Until now, we thought Homo sapiens were roughly 300,000 years old, which was already nuts. But now it seems we have evidence that our species is much, much older. The skull was first unearthed in Hubei province in 1990, badly crushed and difficult to interpret. Based mainly on its age and some broad brush traits, it was assigned as Homo erectus, a group that is thought to have contained direct ancestors of modern humans. But the latest work using advanced CT imaging, high resolution surface scanning and sophisticated digital techniques produced a virtual reconstruction of the skull and astoundingly, the overall shape and size of the brain case and teeth appear to place it much closer to Homo longi, a sister species at similar levels of development to Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Genetic evidence suggests it existed alongside them so if Yunjiang II walked the Earth a million years ago, the scientists say early versions of Neanderthals and our own species probably did too. This would push the split between our own ancestors, Neanderthals and Homo longi, back by at least 400,000 years. And, according to Springer, raises the incredible possibility that our common ancestor, and potentially the first Homo sapiens, lived in Western Asia, rather than in Africa. He added that there are likely to be million-year-old fossils of Homo sapiens somewhere on our planet. We just haven't found them yet. Now, I don't think I can stress enough just how groundbreaking this discovery is. If true, it not only suggests that we are far, far, far older than we thought, but it also really disrupts the idea that sapiens emerged from Africa. In other words, it entirely rewrites the story of human evolution and our history as a species. Now, typically, I dropped a video about this exact topic only two days ago, where I spoke about some papers regarding genetic evidence and teeth morphology that suggested something like this could be possible. Now, I still highly recommend you watch it and I'll link it down below, but let me just quickly summarize that for you now. There are a number of papers that already suggested Homo sapiens could be this old. In 2010, scientists published the first draft of a Neanderthal genome. Comparing Neanderthal DNA to living humans, they concluded that Neanderthals and modern humans shared a common ancestor roughly 800,000 years ago. This genetic clue was intriguing, but its uncertainty was high. But then, in 2016, an even older genetic data point emerged, when researchers managed to sequence nuclear DNA from the Cima de los Huesos hominins in Spain. 
They calculated that the population split between archaic humans and modern humans occurred up to 765,000 years ago. Such findings implied that the genetic lineage of Homo sapiens could be incredibly ancient, on the order of half a million to nearly a million years old. But it wasn't just genetics pointing this way. A 2019 study in Science Advances looked at the teeth of the same fossils. Teeth evolve fairly steadily over time, so they're like a built-in evolutionary clock. But here's the surprise. These 430,000 year old teeth already looked extremely Neanderthal-like. That means the Neanderthal lineage must have been diverging long before 430,000 years ago. In fact, the researchers concluded that the split between modern humans and Neanderthals must have occurred at least 800,000 years ago. Otherwise, Neanderthal teeth would have had to evolve at an unrealistically rapid pace. In other words, this suggested our lineage potentially stretched back close to a million years. But this was just genetics and teeth morphology. Strong evidence, I would say, but lacking hard physical remains. But now we have solid fossil evidence that this is true. A skull that is likely a sister species of ours suggesting we have been on this planet for the best part of a million years. That's mind-blowing. Now, to be clear, this is not a Homo sapiens fossil, but it is about as close as we can get without that nail in the coffin find. It's not an ancestor, it's a cousin, a sister species that evolved alongside us rather than before us. Therefore, if this study is correct, it is strong, strong evidence that we've been on this planet for a very long time, for the best part of a million years, and that maybe we didn't come from Africa at all. So what does this all mean? Well, I know I do this a lot and some people are gonna get annoyed at me here and click off the video, but who cares? Let's get the old timeline out again. According to the traditional view of history, civilization emerged around 3000 BC. The entirety of recorded history has occurred in the 5000 years since this point. Now, 5000 years is a long time, but it's a blip compared to 1 million. It's always been thought that the warm stable conditions of our current climate epoch, the Holocene, which began around 12,000 years ago, allowed agriculture to develop, populations to grow, and civilizations to emerge. Now, this made sense when we thought our species was only 30,000 or so years old, as was the conventional wisdom around 50 years ago, when this model was developed. However, I've long been arguing that this doesn't make sense anymore, ever since 2017, when we discovered strong fossil evidence that Homo sapiens are actually 300,000 years old. If the argument is that a warm, stable climate led to civilization, then why couldn't this have happened in the previous three warm periods that happened while modern humans were around? But if this new discovery is correct, and our species really is in the region of one million years old, then surely we need to start rethinking this. If we really are one million years old, then this timeline has been pushed dramatically back and suddenly we have 11 warm periods that modern humans have lived through, arguably 14 if you add the three earlier odd-numbered warm stages between 1 million and 800,000 years ago. So are we really going to keep saying that nothing particularly happened for this huge length of time? That our species made no real advances for a million years, for 99.9% .9 of our history, all the way until the Neolithic Revolution, only 12,000 years ago. Are we sure this isn't recency bias? Are we sure this isn't preservation bias? The Earth and time is brutal. Think of what our planet and our species have been through in that time. Dramatic climate shifts, natural disasters that had the potential to both wipe out human culture and erase the archaeological record clean. Are we sure that Homo sapiens did nothing much but nomadically hunt together in small groups for one million years, and then only in the last 12,000 did everything else? I'm not sure I buy that anymore. I think our view of history is about to change drastically. I don't know about you guys, but I think this may be it. I think this may be the moment people sit up and start to take notice of what we've been saying. Either way, it's an incredibly exciting discovery. We should of course be cautious and wait for other scientists to analyze the claims. But still, this in my opinion is big. Homo sapiens may be one million years old. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a comment or a like down below or subscribing to my channel. See you next time.